This is hard. It's hard work. Everything is hard. Hold on to your screens because this is going to be epic. question from you guys. Where do you get the inspiration from? How do you come up with these ideas? Well, remember we did that Rodney Scott ribs and we hacked this sauce. It has so much citrus flavor in it and I absolutely loved it, especially in combination with pork. So I thought why not infuse the citrus flavor straight into the pork ribs? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our pork ribs and let me show you. Our pork ribs and our oranges, and I got a lot of other citrus fruits because we gotta figure this thing out together, but we're going to infuse them together. And I got the perfect way to do it. Let me show you how. The first thing that we're going to do is take the membrane off the back of the ribs. Once it's done, it's time to slice up our citrus fruits. Oranges, lemons, limes. Now we'll place the lemon fruits on the ribs, sprinkle on sugar first, then salt, and finally, if you want to, you can add a little pepper because lemon and pepper on ribs, oh, this is going to be good. The plan is, and if you can smell this already, we get this like fruity aroma, but the whole plan is that we put the salt and sugar on top and we're getting the osmosis effect. So basically the salt and sugar is pulling itself into the fruit and then going through the fruit and drawing itself into the meat. So all of that flavor that we put on top is going to draw into the meat. That's why we need to give it a little time. We can sit here and look at it. Are you ready for that? We're going to sit here and watch the meat while the osmosis effect is taking place. We're going to give these ribs around two hours and then we'll rinse them off and fire up our Bernard smoker. Look at how the color started popping because of the salt. It became intense red. And at this point, I'm thinking, whoa, I gotta put a rub on. <sighs> but I'm not going to. I wanna keep it. I wanna keep. I want to, Morrison. I want to put a rub on. I'm not gonna do it. No, no rub. We're gonna, gonna do it straight up for science sake. Because we gotta figure out if this works or not. And to make sure I still remember which is which, a lime here, a lemon there, a little slice of orange over here. And now we say bye-bye to our ribs. I'll let them pick up smoke, pick up flavor. And I think it's gonna be about an hour or maybe five-ish, five-ish, maybe six even, at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. Maybe more like five. I think I'm thinking five, yeah. <laughs> I said five hours, right? Six hours? Yeah. I couldn't be, I couldn't be more wrong. It's like, it's more like three hours. And, and even, even a little shorter than three hours. But we gotta check, look, look at the ribs. They look freaking amazing. And you know, when they look good, you gotta start checking to see if they're not done because the, the bones are popping, the meat's got that nice smoke color. And then I'm dropping in my thermometer and Look, when it just goes through like that, like butter, whoop, whoa, whoop, it just like goes through like it's nothing. That means they're already done. And if I measure the temperature, it goes well over 96 degrees, 98, 99. Oh my God, we need to take them off right now.
that's why you gotta keep an eye on what you're doing. You gotta check, you gotta check the temperatures, you gotta check the barbecue, you gotta check everything. You can never step away from that barbecue if you're looking for the perfect ribs. Now these were skinny ribs, so I think that might have sped up the process. And at the same time, we got this crazy beautiful weather in the middle of winter. What's up with that? It's like, it's not even raining. What's going on? I mean, ribs are gonna be like, poop. Ribs microwave weather. That's what it feels like. But we're hungry, right? You want ribs? I want ribs. You gotta help me with this. I, I, I don't recognize this anymore. Do you know what it is? First, just salt and sugar, the reference rib. I'm gonna start by saying these are some tender and juicy ribs. Ribs that make you wanna go. Mm. No, you don't even like it, it's not meat. It's not meat, it's, it's fruit. These are simple dry brine ribs, cured ribs. What? All right, all right. This is how I like them. I like my ribs simple. Simplicity. Naked ribs, yeah. Now it's my time to dig into the lime ribs. Ooh, that looks mighty fine. Wait, what? This is so funny. The salt and the sugar really draw onto the inside of the meat. But the lime is kind of like a, a sticky candy-like consistency on the outside. It's sweeter, but it's still fresh. All right. And this is the orange? Yes. Definitely. Mmm. A little bit less sweeter than the lime. It's always so juicy. This is a little bit less in flavor. It still has an amazing flavor, but it's more like <clears throat> the one without the fruits. Ribs are amazing, but if you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know. Now let's try our lemon. Ooh, lemon. Mmm. Wow. Last place, I would say the one without the fruit. All right, then, then I would go for the orange. Then I would go for the lemon and on first place the lime. Because the lime, you can taste it's lime and the others you can't. Fourth place. Orange juice ribs, because the brine didn't go through. Third place, the ribs that were brined without uh, citrus fruits. Then, second place goes to the lime, and first place goes to the lemon! Lemon one! I need more. You need more? You, get, you have to get out of the way. You, get, you had more than I. I'll make you a deal. What? You get the lime because you loved it so much. Yeah. I get the lemon because yeah. I love that one so much. Mm. What do you guys think? Should we feed the dog? I think they, they always say we do, right? Or do we, do we need to have a, a vote first? Voting system Don't like... Don't you think we feed the dog enough? Look. Yeah. It's just a puppy. That's her opinion. But aren't you being like a super mean person by not feeding the dog? But look at her, she's so cute. Just for being cute. This is your cute bonus, cutie. Bye. Bye-bye, cutie. Bye. Where's Bye. she going? I don't know. She's off with the bones and the, and the ribs and the meat. We got to close off. Mm. We got more ideas to come. That's right. We're cooking till the, till what? Till they stop making pigs and cows. Do we really stop then? No. No. We'll figure out. I'm going to grill that aubergine. I don't want to talk about aubergines. No. I see them too many times in like weird videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thanks to our patrons and YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then. Eat smugglers. And keep on grilling. Mm. That's right.